Thinking about moving to Johns Creek, Georgia? Let's talk about the pros and cons. Right off the bat, one of the biggest benefits of living in Johns Creek is that that city is very well kept. It's a beautiful city. Johns Creek is part of Fulton County and is just east of Alpharetta. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that Alpharetta is an amazingly beautiful city and Johns Creek is very similar to Alpharetta. In fact, years ago, Johns Creek used to be part of Alpharetta until about 2008 when it became its own city. It developed its own uh, police and developed its own fire department, things like that. And so Johns Creek kind of separated and became its own. So Johns Creek looks very similar to Alpharetta and similar to Alpharetta, Johns Creek puts a lot of money into their infrastructure, into their roads and sidewalks and the landscaping around the city. So when you drive through the city of Johns Creek, it's very clear that they take very good care of their city. Another big benefit of living in Johns Creek is that their emergency services there are excellent. The police department and the fire department EMS all do a very good job of making sure that they're taking care of their citizens there. In fact, I used to be part of the EMS division there in Johns Creek years ago when I used to work in EMS. And so I'm very well acquainted with those different emergency services and the first responders there in Johns Creek and in Fulton County. And I know that the fire department, the police, the ambulance workers, the 911 operators there in Johns Creek take their job very seriously and are very respectful of the citizens of Johns Creek. They are always making sure that they are training and always making sure that they're ready for any situation. So I'm very well aware that the emergency services there in Johns Creek are one of the best in all of Metro Atlanta. Another big benefit of living in Johns Creek is the school systems there. Of course, if you're thinking about moving to Johns Creek or you just wanna know what it's like to live there, feel free to call or text me, email me anytime. Thank you so much to everyone who has reached out. I'm always happy to help. Now, the school systems in Johns Creek are also one of the best in all of Metro Atlanta. Johns Creek has Johns Creek High School, which is an 8 out of 10. Shake Rag Elementary School, which is an 8 out of 10. Also, Wilson Creek Elementary School, which is a 9 out of 10. And River Trail Middle School, which is a 9 out of 10. Overall, the schools there in Johns Creek are one of the biggest draws to many people who live there and is certainly one of the best pros about living in Johns Creek. Another benefit of living in Johns Creek is the parks and the green space that we have in Johns Creek. There is a never-ending amount of parks and playgrounds and outdoor activities in Johns Creek. Overall, Fulton County, which is the county where Johns Creek is located, does a great job of their having parks and having green space for the residents of those cities. It's very common to find parks all over the city, and especially it being such a family-friendly environment that's really one of the biggest benefits of living in Johns Creek. Which brings me to another benefit of living in Johns Creek is that it's very family-friendly. That's probably the most common demographic that lives in Johns Creek are families or young families who are looking for excellent schools. Johns Creek has lots of things to do for families, lots of activities and sports and activities for kids to do. And so that's really one of the biggest benefits of living in Johns Creek is just how family oriented that city is. Okay, let's talk about the downsides of living in Johns Creek, Georgia. One thing that you should know is that Johns Creek doesn't really have a city center like many of the other suburbs that we often talk about, like Marietta Square or downtown Alpharetta. Because Johns Creek is a relatively new city suburb, they don't have like a downtown area like that. So there's not like a central location where you can find a lot of shopping or a lot of uh, restaurants or things like that. While Johns Creek does have some of that, some of those kinds of commercial areas and retail areas, it's not very common. They don't have a lot of that and they certainly don't have a city center like some of the other suburbs. And then another downside for Johns Creek are the home values, is that it's one of the more expensive suburbs in Metro Atlanta. The average home value in Johns Creek is about 700,000. So if you're looking for a typical three bed or four bedroom home, it's very possible to find more home for your money 
in other suburbs like Marietta or Suwannee than you can in Johns Creek. And what goes along with higher home values are higher property taxes. Typically, the property taxes for most cities in Georgia are about 1% of the home value per year. So for an average $700,000 house, you're really looking at about seven dollars to $8,000 per year in property taxes in Johns Creek. Another downside about living in Johns Creek is its distance to the Atlanta airport. To get from Johns Creek to Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport would be about 45 minutes to an hour. And if there's really bad traffic, you may even expect about an hour and 15 minutes. So if being close to the airport is a high priority for you, you may want to realize that Johns Creek is not very close to the airport in Atlanta. Another downside about living in Johns Creek is that there's not really a major interstate connected to Johns Creek. There's not like Interstate 75 or Interstate 85 there that runs through Johns Creek. So this means that getting around the metro Atlanta area can be kind of difficult because it's not so connected. Most cities in metro Atlanta like Alpharetta or Marietta are very close and right next to one of the major interstates in metro Atlanta. Johns Creek does not have that. So in addition to not being able to get around the different cities of metro Atlanta, there also can be kind of a lot of traffic congestion there in Johns Creek. Sometimes it can kind of cause some problems with not having a main interstate going through the city. And then another downside of living in Johns Creek is that there really are no major attractions in the city of Johns Creek. For example, Marietta has uh, where the Braves play, Truist Field. Alpharetta has a concert venue there. Johns Creek doesn't really have anything major like that. There's nothing really big that draws people to the city of Johns Creek. Really the main draw to the city of Johns Creek is its family-friendly uh, suburban environment. But other than that, there's not anything else that sets Johns Creek apart. In addition to that, there's not really a whole lot of shopping in Johns Creek. Like I said earlier, there's no city center. And not only that, there's not really a lot of commercial and retail spaces in general in Johns Creek. Overall, Johns Creek is an amazing city and certainly has its pros and cons like any city suburb in Metro Atlanta, but it is really one of the most popular suburbs in all of Atlanta. So it's no wonder why so many people want to live in Johns Creek. It's a beautiful city with amazing homes there. So if you wanna know more about what it's like to live in the Metro Atlanta area, click on this video. I'll see you there.